All right guys, please try and ignore what's going on with my hair because truly, I don't know. <laughs> it dried naturally and uh, this is what I got. We're just gonna deal with it and I can't get my camera to get my bun in so I just look a little bit crazy. Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel or welcome if you are new. My name is Kiriel and today we are playing with color. Today we are reviewing the Makeup Revolution X Tammy Carnival Palette. Tammy or Makeup by Tammy is a YouTuber around here and she's based in the UK and she decided to come out with a bright ass palette. <laughs> it's an 18 color eyeshadow palette and I do believe some of them are actually pressed pigments which means that they're not actually considered eye safe and it's something to do with the ingredients and the dyes that are used so if you have any sensitivity with your eyes or anything like that look into it beforehand. I don't have any sensitivities or anything like that but I just thought I'd make you aware just in case you do. This is what the palette looks like. I will just say it's just a beautiful looking palette. This is the outside carton and it's got the shade names and numbers on the back of the actual box itself. And this is what the actual palette looks like. It's got the same design on the front. I really like it. Kind of burst of powder. It's very pretty. And then on the inside, <laughs> gotta open it. You have a very large mirror and then the actual eyeshadows. And it does come with this little slip over top with the names on it, which actually comes like stuck down. I don't know why they did that, but it's got these little like sticky tabs. It was very awkward to take off. <laughs> but good news everyone, the shades are on the actual back here. So you do have a little grid. I think there's seven shimmers in here and then all the rest are matte colors. And the colors together are very cohesive. Like it's a very bright palette. You have like the greens all together, the blues and the purples. Like you get, you get quite a lot of correlating shades that really complement each other. The pan size is actually quite big in here compared to some of the other Makeup Revolution palettes that I've seen. It just fills out the whole palette more so it looks like you've got more product in there if you know what I mean. You may not gram wise but it looks very visually pleasing if you know what I mean. I think what really drew me into the palette was this lime green and the purple by here. As soon as I saw those online I was like I want this palette. You can get this on Makeup Revolution's website, Superdrug's website and in store and now also Beauty Bay. They are stocked on Beauty Bay as well. I think in the US it may be Ulta that Makeup Revolution is available in. It's £10 in the UK which is an affordable price. Obviously you know Makeup Revolution is a very affordable brand and also one of my favourites. So yeah now we've gone through all the details. Uh, without further ado let's get into the swatches. All right, you guys so this is the first row of swatches. We have Calypso, Soccer, Notting Hill, Spiced Rum, Greens and Shortney. Here is the second row. Just to be completely transparent the matte shades I did two swipes over top. Honestly they are very very smooth and buttery though. And the shimmers feel so freaking creamy. So the shades we have here are Destiny, Jovert, I'm not sure if I'm saying that right, probably not. <laughs> Spice Island, Trini, Pink Panther, and Mass. Here is the third and final row of the palette. We have the color Girlies. Oh god, alive, I'm not gonna be able to say this at all. <laughs> Bacchanal. I, I've said that wrong. I know I have. <laughs> Navy, definitely. St. Catherine, and Jab Jab. I do just have to say that Bacchanal and definitely were very crumbly swatching. Don't know if you're gonna be able to see a difference on camera, but just these these two by here, they were just very, very crumbly. But apart from that, very pigmented. All right, so I'm aware I probably look a little bit insane right now, but I've just come out of the bath and uh, I couldn't wait to get this eyeshadow on my face. So my hair is currently up in a towel right now drying, so please don't judge me. <sighs> right, let's get into some color. I'm really excited. First off, I'm gonna go in with my P. Louise base as per usual. I'm gonna give these shadows a fair chance. This is what I would usually use for colorful eyeshadows, so to give this product a fair chance, I'm gonna do exactly the same. Okay, so let's go into the color. I'm so excited. I wanna play with the kind of purples and also the yellow and some of the blues today. Such a pretty looking palette. Okay, so the first shade I'm gonna go in with is called Mars and it's this kind of pinky, purpley kind of color. It's like a muted purple. So I'm gonna go in with that with my Zoeva Luxe Petite Crease Brush and I'm just gonna really like pack on the color. There's not a lot of fallout, which is great. So let's go on in. Okay, that is very decently pigmented. I love that color, that is so gorgeous. I'm going with a little bit more to build it up. Wow, look at that, that is such good pigment. I mean, not that I had my doubts because Makeup Revolution's eyeshadows tend to be really good for the price. I've only dipped into the palette twice and that's the kind of pigment 
that we got going on. Like it's still spreading and still going. I'm gonna try going in with the yellow. This may be a big mistake because yellow plus this color would probably make brown, but we'll see what happens. I'm gonna take this on my Morphe M562. Whoa, okay, that yellow has quite a bit of kick up as you can probably see there. It's just quite powdery. Let's see how pigmented it goes on the lid. I'm gonna do my 50-50 thing here. Probably it's not gonna turn out the best, but we're gonna try it. That yellow is really good actually. Just moved you in closer so you can see what's going on. I think I might have to go in with like an orange or something to blend these like seamlessly because it is creating a kind of brownish color. I'm gonna try going in with Pink Panther, which is kind of a warm tone pink and see if that will help blend the two a bit more. This one has a lot of kick up as well. I see it there on that pink. The purple barely had any kick up, so it's kind of interesting that they're all slightly different. Let's try blending this over to help everything go together. Now I'm just gonna go back in and reinforce that yellow. Okay, I'm really not liking the way that this is looking, but this is my own fault. So I'm gonna start again. <laughs> And instead of going straight in with the yellow, I'm gonna put the pink on first and then put in the yellow. So I'll be right back. <laughs> so I thought I was recording for the past five minutes, but I haven't been. It turns out my mic wasn't even plugged in throughout the whole beginning of this video. So I am so sorry, but it's all sorted now. Uh, let's carry on, shall we? But before we go any further, can we appreciate this blend? I'm so glad I went in with the pink and then added the yellow afterwards. And we did it all because it looks so beautiful right now. Ignore the outer corner, but look at the blend of the crease. Oh my God, they work so well together. Anyway, as I was saying before I realized that I wasn't recording, I'm taking the color Girlies, which is just the deeper purple, and I'm using my same Zoeva Petite Crease. I'm adding it onto the outer corner and I'm going to add it to the crease. Seriously, purples are usually like the duds in a palette, but these ones are so good. And again, this one really doesn't have any fallout. I just wiped off my brush a little and I'm going to take that original purple color we used, which is actually called Mass and not Mars. <laughs> I'm seeing things, okay? I'm going through something. <laughs> and I'm just gonna blend over the edge again. Next shade I'm gonna go into is just called Navy. This one looks like it's got a bit of like a shimmer in there, but I'm hoping it's not gonna come across. By the way, so far I have zero fallout on my actual face, which is insane, because I've been packing on the color. All right, let's start packing this on. Wow. <laughs> Okay, pigment on this color is insane. This one out of all of them feels kind of creamy. I am liking the way that this one's feeling. That I feel is one of my favorite shades out of the whole palette. And I definitely didn't think that it would be. It is just such a nice, creamy, smooth, blendable color. Like yeah, I got a little bit of fallout, but that's why I do my eyeshadow before my face and everything. But the, it is just so gorgeous, pigmented, so blendable. It really deepened up that purple the way I wanted it to. Yeah, so I'm gonna quickly cut my crease with the P. Louise base and then I'll be right back. All right, so I've done my half cut crease, I'm ready to go. I kinda wanna do like a gradient of shimmers as well, just so I can try as many as possible. So the first color that I'm gonna go in with is Shortney and I'm taking my Zoeva Smoky Shader Brush. It doesn't look super metallic, but we will see how it looks on the lid. So I'm gonna go in on the outer corner here. I wanna kind of make like a diagonal gradient, but we'll see what happens. Oh, what? These shadows are just packed full of pigment that is so freaking good, oh my god. So there isn't like a lot of foily metallic there, but there is some, can you see it? It looks pretty. I feel like if I was to wet the brush, it would be a lot more foiled. Maybe I'll try that right now. I'm just gonna use a little bit of MAC Fix Plus. Let's go on in. You know what, I don't feel like that added that much of a difference. It's a very subtle sheen to it. I like it, it's nice. <laughs> I'm gonna go in with the color called Destiny, which is the dark purple shimmer. I'm gonna go right above this blue and kind of blend them together. Again, the sheen is super subtle. Maybe if I used it on a bigger surface area, you'd be able to tell more. It's just not a ginormous amount of sheen. It's not chunky, it's very smooth. I feel like these would blend like so well into the mattes. Just because they feel so creamy on the lid. Just going back in with a little bit more of the blue to blend them together a bit more. I really like this blue. It is so pretty. Okay, and the final color that I'm gonna go in with, which is probably one of the most exciting colors to me in the whole entire palette, is called Soccer. I think that's how you say it, I'm not quite sure. But it's just the lightest purple metallic and it looks 
gorgeous. I cannot wait to get this on the lid. So far these shimmers, by the way, they're very, very creamy in the pan, but they pick up really nicely on the brush as well, and there's like no fallout with them. I am using a natural bristle brush, which I found is the best for creamy products like this. I've tried synthetic brushes with products like this and they just don't work as well. So just bear that in mind if you are using a creamier eyeshadow. I kind of want to leave like a negative space here, so I'm going to continue on with the diagonal. I'm just going to go kind of 50-50 again. Everything is just going so well together in this palette. Like, look at the blend that is happening on my elbows. I, d I can't even describe. <laughs> that purple is gorgeous. I'm gonna go back in with the deepest purple and just kind of bring it back because I've kind of lost it a little in the center To add just a little bit more depth I'm gonna go back in with the navy and just kind of pat over the edge to blend in that blue a little bit more This has turned out so much better than what I thought it would. I absolutely love this eyeshadow look. Look at the blend between the mattes, between the shimmers. It all has just worked so well. I am so <laughs> impressed. I'm gonna go ahead and use a white shadow to just set this part by here. Obviously this palette doesn't have a white so I'm just gonna use what I got. <laughs> and then I'm gonna do the other eye and my face and everything and we'll be right back. Hey guys, so I just wanna finish up the eyes with you. I've completed this eye over here. I really love the way that this has turned out. The colors and everything look so vibrant and so beautifully blended. But let me show you what I did on the under eye. So I'm first going in with the yellow and I'm going to blend that right across the lash line pretty much. I'm finding this yellow is the dustiest shade out of all of them. And although it is very blendable, it is kind of making a mess of the pan. Like I don't know if you can see, but it's kind of going everywhere. It's gone in the blue a little bit. It is a very affordable palette though, so now I'm going in with a Morphe M507 brush and I'm taking the pink and I'm going to bring this halfway across my eye. I'm getting a lot more fallout on the lash line but that happened on this eye and it just swept away really easily so it doesn't seem to be an issue with it sticking or anything. Obviously I'll show you that so we can see if it does stick. And finally I went in with the deepest purple with this Beauty Bay shade out brush and I've just really pressed it against the lash line. Now I'm going in with a blue eyeliner. This is by Revolution Pro and it's the Supreme Pigment gel eyeliner in just the shade blue. Now that I've applied that I'm going back with the purple and I'm just going to smudge out the blue a little bit. Okay so I'm pretty much done I'm just going to sweep away that fallout. Go it's all gone. No issues there. So that's it for the eyes. I'm going to go ahead and pop on some lashes and then we'll discuss my final thoughts on this palette. So this is the finished look and oh my gosh. First of all, I just love the look that I was able to create with this palette. Obviously, there's a lot of bright shades in here, but this, I think this has turned out nice and soft, but dramatic at the same time. Can you believe that this came out of literally like a 10 pound palette? I can't get over how blendable the shades were, how pigmented they were. There was no skipping, there was no patchiness. I had no trouble blending, apart from in the beginning, but that was my own fault because I mix two colors that you wouldn't typically mix together. If you have not got this palette yet and you want a colorful palette that's got shimmers, mattes in it, just get this one. Like honestly, this, this is probably like one of my favorite palettes I think I've ever tried and that is a massive claim. I do really like the metallics. They're not like that bam sheen that you're gonna get from say a liquid eyeshadow because I really like using those but you can still see it on the lid and it does give a really nice reflect. I'm sure if I used this all over the lid it would have popped off quite well. The only thing that I think it is missing is a white but apart from that I think this is an incredible incredible palette it's such good quality such good blendability I just can't I just can't get over this so Tammy I don't know what you did I don't know what kind of magic touch you have but this is insane you did such a good job congratulations girl I can't wait to try some more of the shades in here definitely some of the blues and oh my gosh this green I haven't got anything in my collection that's like this so I'm excited to use that as well if you'd like to see future looks with this and please leave a like on the video so I know and also if you just want to see some more looks follow my Instagram because I'll definitely be posting some more images with this on there yeah you guys that is it for my kind of review a demo of this palette uh yeah this is gonna be on my eyes a lot I hope you guys enjoyed it and like the look that I created. If you haven't already and you are brand new, why not subscribe to the channel? I do videos like this on my channel all the time. So if you want to join, just hit the red subscribe button and the bell button. And yeah, I'm gonna love you and leave you. I hope you're having a wonderful day wherever you are in the world. And I hope you tune in for the next one. Till then, bye guys. You can get this, you can get this on Makeup Revolution. You can get, oh. I'm gonna, I'm gonna use like a what, uh, uh?
um, like, ugh, ugh, words. Yeah, you guys, that is, oh, oh my god, words, what are they? Thank you.